and everyone so in the previous videos we discussed about usual abap class we created one method in the usual abap class we wrote the logic in the usual abap class method and we called that method inside a program now what we will go we will take a requirement the same to same requirement but now we will not take the help of global class that is usual abap class we will write everything in the program means we will achieve the same requirement with the help of local classes suppose i will display the details of sales document number but i will do everything with the help of local class declaring the method writing the logic everything will be locally itself so we will go for this particular requirement so i will go for sc38 transaction code i will create a program suppose this is my second program and i will use my serial number i will go for create button i will give the title display the sales order details i will take the type as executable program i will save it as a local object now i will take a input in the program with the help of parameters p underscore v b e l n type i will pass the data element for sales document number v b a k table and this is the data element for sales document number i will activate the program i will provide the selection text go to text element selection text sales document number i am activating this now if i am running my program so my input is ready for the program now we will achieve the requirement means input will be sales document number and the output will be details of that sales document number we will achieve this requirement with the help of local class means we will create a class in this program itself and we will achieve this particular requirement now if you are clear about the steps which we did in sc24 it will be very easy to convert that particular thing in the form of code so we will start with this now every class has two parts first one is class definition and the second one is class implementation now what do you mean by class definition class definition means only declarations means we will not write the logic we will only only define the things suppose if i will show you what we did we declared one method method is instance or static visibility 
and we took some importing and exporting parameters. It means this is definition, this is declaration. You are giving some method name, you are giving some parameters. So this is all about the declaration. Now, whenever you are writing the logic into that method, that will come under implementation. That will come under implementation. So firstly, we will define the class and then we will implement the class. Means firstly, we will declare the things and then we will write the logic. But everything we will do in this particular program itself, means defining the class, implementing the class, we will do here itself and that class will not be reuse in any other program it means whatever we are doing is with the help of local classes now we will simply compare the steps and it will be very easy for us to write the code now what you did in sc24 first what you did you gave some class name in SC24, how we can declare a local class. Class is the keyword. Suppose my name of the class is class1. Definition is the keyword. Firstly, we will go for class definition. End class. For every class definition, there is a end class. Now, after that, what you did? You declared one method. Method is instance or static, or then you give the visibility of the method. So we will write public section. We are declaring a public method. Now, how to declare a method? It's very easy. Methods. And what is the name of method you gave? Display. Now, after that, what you did in SC24 when you did this? you gave one importing and four exporting parameters. Same thing we will do here. We will give one importing and four exporting parameters. Importing sales document number, exporting PER dat type, PR that PERZET type PERZET PER num type PER num PVP type. type vp type so we did same to same thing but previously you created a global class usual abap class which is a part of global class but now we will not take the help of global class we will write everything locally yes we created one class that is class one we took the method display and it is a part of your public section it means this method is public we took one importing and four exporting parameters so our class definition is done now the question comes you passed 
instance or static here but how we can recognize that the method which we declared here is instance or static whenever you are using the word methods the method is a instance method if i am writing the word class hyphen methods it means the method is a static method it means whenever with the help of coding you want to make a method as instance or static if you are using the word methods the method is a instance method if you are using the word class hyphen method the method is a static method if you are using the word methods it is a instance method if you are using the word class hyphen methods the method is a static method so in this particular video we discussed about how to go for class definition in the next video we will go for class implementation thank you